All right, what's going on guys? Uh, Michael here, me and John are back in the garage. What up? And today, we are gonna be putting these tow mirrors on his truck. Cause oh, like- uh, oh. Gallenberg prep round two. Yup, so. cause he's about to go to Gallenberg and he's gonna trailer his, his Z right there, so. When you're towing stuff, I guess for like legal reasons, you have to be, you have to be able to see your trailer and then the car behind your trailer. So that's why you need the wider mirrors to see behind. So that's what I've got right here. Yeah, for legal reasons. Will you get one of those uh, stands? What? Will you get one of those stands? Yeah, yeah. All right, you guys, so this is actually a pretty simple process. If you look down in here in the little door jam area, there's that little square. You just gotta get like a pick or something and pull that off. There's a 10 millimeter bolt under there. Inside the door jam right here, this little black square. You gotta use the same thing. You gotta pull that square out. There's another one in there. Um, I think that's a 10 millimeter also. And then if you come down to the very bottom, right there and here, I don't know what size that is, but it's a super small bolt. You just gotta take those two out and then I'm pretty sure the whole entire panel just lifts straight up. Um, and then that gives you access back behind here. You can undo the bolts that hold the mirror on, unclip the plug for uh, like when you adjust it with the button. Um, and then we'll just Ooh. throw the new one back on. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Me and John just got back from the gym and I think he maxed out like, what, 115 on the bench press today? Oh yeah, <laughs> that's my warm up. Oh yeah. And if you guys are ever looking for like protein shakes, don't ever go with cookies and cream because I bought this the other day and I bought like the huge one for like freaking $60 and it is terrible. Like it is not good at all, so. All right, you guys, so just like that, this uh, little black square pops off right there. There's a 10 millimeter bolt. Pop off the little square inside the door handle. There's another little bolt in there. And then there's two very small ones at the bottom. Um, so this should just pull straight up. So. Just be careful, because. There's one. There's, there's gonna be some wires attached, I feel like. Uh -huh. Yep, you gotta unclip those. It's for the uh, the switches. Bro, it probably hasn't been popped off since like 03, cuz. All right, so we got the stock mirror off. We got the aftermarket one, New literally one. just three nuts. One, two, three nuts, and then uh, the plug. Um, it should just be plug and play, and you just slide it back on. Are these power, these new ones, are they power mirrors? No. So I was reading a lot of forums. So what's the plug for then? When you do the control, it adjusts the mirror. That's power mirror, right? All right, so literally just push the new one through the old slots where it's supposed to go, tighten those three bolts and put the clip on, and then uh, we're just gonna have to put this door back together and that's that, it's really not that bad. And we'll do the other side, we should be good. All right, so we got the passenger side done. Me and John were saying that's probably like one of the easiest installations we've ever done. So, yeah. yeah. And they're not even extended all the way right now. They're just pushed in. I'll pull it out. Yeah. That probably took maybe all of 10 minutes. Um, if you guys need to take out like the master switch for like the lock or unlock or place door glass or anything, I'd probably encourage you to try it yourself because it takes, there's two tiny, I think it was a six millimeter bolts at the very bottom. Yeah. And then those two at the top behind those caps were eight millimeters. And then there's three nuts that hold the actual mirror onto the truck, and those are in 11 millimeters, so that's all you need. I would not take it to a shop to get this done. It's, no. You don't even really have to be good at working on, like, you could literally do this if you just know how to Somebody that didn't know ball. anything about cars, <laughs> yeah. I think could probably watch this YouTube video and then go and do it, the, yeah. go and do it themselves. Like, that's probably the easiest thing that we've yeah. ever done. Roll with the extendo. <laughs> yeah. So they're on. Um, so the turn signals, the lights shine. But, uh, I don't know if you can see that a little bit. But like, with just the fog lights on, they don't. So, I don't know. I'm guessing these are just meant for the turn signal only then. But, yeah. It's a big upgrade from the stock mirrors. Plus, the stock ones were like all cracked and they just looked like crap, so. There's probably some like wiring thing. You could wire it to your running lights if you yeah. want to, but. Maybe it's only meant for the turn signals is what I was saying, uh, so. They have like five different options. If you get like, 
ones with like power heated mirrors, but all the reviews I was reading say that if you don't have like the newer trucks, like it wouldn't. 2015 or above, the heat wouldn't work and like yeah. the electrical wouldn't work. So I don't really care about that, but I think it looks really good. Um, that was probably one of the smoothest installs we've ever done. I encourage you guys to try it yourself if you've never done it before. Yeah, heck yeah. I mean, we know a little bit about working on stuff, but cool. to somebody who doesn't know anything, like, that was really easy. Super easy. Yeah, so, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Um, you got anything for the people? Man, just like and subscribe. Yeah.